So once you have the diagnosis of melanoma from your skin biopsy, the standard recommendation is to do a wide excision of that site. What do we mean by wide excision? That means that we go around the area where the melanoma biopsy site was done with a nice rim of normal tissue. And uh, how do we determine how wide around that site we go? Well, that's been uh, generated from many, many uh, clinical trials where we know that if we take a certain distance around the melanoma, that it's very unlikely that melanoma is uh, going to return in that area. So typically, uh, we do either one centimeter margins, and that really depends on the thickness of your melanoma, or two centimeter margins if you have a thicker melanoma. These wide excisions are often done um, either in the clinic procedure room or in the OR, depending if you're going to have any other uh, testing done. Uh, they're done by uh, defining the area where the melanoma uh, was, where the biopsy site was taken, and it could be uh, a variety of different types of biopsy sites. It could be a shave biopsy, an incisional biopsy, or a punch biopsy. Even excisional biopsies where most of the pigment is removed, we still remove a, a nice rim of normal tissue because we know that it's the safest thing to do. So when we're doing a wide excision with appropriate margins, We'll measure out a certain distance around the previous biopsy site, and while it creates a, a circle shape, we can remove a circle, but we can't close it in a, in a cosmetic fashion. So oftentimes we convert this circle shape into an ellipse that can be closed in a straight line. You should know that the excision uh, is oriented in a way that um, if it were on your arm or leg, um, it goes uh, up and down uh, parallel to the leg. Um, and we do this not because it's more cosmetic, it's actually less cosmetic, but it's the safest thing to do. It disrupts less lymphatic tissue so you can have less swelling after the surgery. and also makes it easier if the melanoma were to come back that we can remove it again without having to worry about uh, other complex procedures to close the wound. Now the wide excision, people ask, um, we know how far around it to go, but how deep do we go? Um, a common question often arises, how, how do we know we went deep enough? And uh, the answer to that is that we're, we treat everybody the same. For melanoma excisions, we go to the layer called the muscular fascia. Uh, and that includes the skin, all the subcutaneous fat, and all the lymphatic channels that run in that subcutaneous fat. And if we know that we go down to the layer that covers the muscle, we know that any potential little seeds that are um, in that tissue are going to be removed. So we always go down to the layer uh, that covers the muscle, and it's the same on every excision. So to close the wound, uh, after we remove the area where the melanoma was with a nice room of normal tissue going all the way down to the layer that covers the muscle, uh, oftentimes we're able to put most of the stitches on the inside. Uh, they're dissolvable and they don't have to be removed. However, if there's a lot of tension on the wound, uh, particularly if it's in a location that causes a lot of uh, motion and tension, uh, sometimes we'll put stitches on the outside that will be removed on your post-op visit, usually in about two to three weeks. Finally, after we put the stitches in and the wound is closed, oftentimes we'll either put uh, steri strips, little strips that go across the wound uh, to help reapproximate the superficial layers, and those will stay on until they, they fall off spontaneously on their own. Or sometimes we'll use something called Germabond. It's almost like a super glue that allows you to shower and resume your normal activities fairly quickly. It's going to be at the discretion of your surgeon and where the site of the lesion is and how uh, well it is reapproximated or closed. By using steri strips or Germabond, we try to make the wound care as simple as possible, and you don't need to uh, place any antibiotic ointments or anything else over top of the wound. So the benefit of doing the wide excision is that it's definitive management for the melanoma. It reduces the chance that that melanoma is going to come back in that area significantly. What are the risks of doing a wide excision? Well, the risks are that, like any procedure, there's a risk for uh, bleeding and a risk for infection. Bleeding should be minimal. Uh, again, this is superficial in the skin, and we go down to the layer that covers the muscle. Um, so bleeding is usually very minimal. There's also a, a small risk of infection, uh, but it's very low risk. Since this is considered a clean case, uh, the risk is about 2% or less. The other thing that you need to know is that uh, you will have a scar over the area that um, unfortunately we can't uh, eliminate that, uh, but we do try to make it as inconspicuous as possible. Uh, there may also be some uh, nerve damage around that area, and when I, mean ner when I say nerve damage, I mean some numbness around the incision. That's very normal. Um, the numbness that uh, is associated with that may come back over time, but it may be a very, very slow process. In terms of other complications, uh, sometimes if the wound is under tension, the wound can open up, 
in the middle. And if the wound does open up, it's not the end of the world. Uh, all it means is that it just takes a little bit longer to heal. But we don't go back and try to close the wound again because we know that that will just create uh, problems. Um, but the wound will heal over time. When we do the wide excision, there are certain circumstances where the wound would be very tight to close, and sometimes we can't uh, approximate it all the way with suture material. In those cases, uh, sometimes we have to do uh, what we call advancement flaps um, or something called a skin graft. So things to look for after you're discharged um, with your wide excision, you want to make sure that there's no signs of infection. Okay, things like redness, um, drainage from the wound, uh, fevers or chills, any of those should prompt a call to our clinic. If you were to have any bleeding from the wound, the treatment would be to apply pressure to the area and call our clinic immediately. So typically we would see you back in three weeks to make sure your wound is healing okay, and then we would base your follow-up from there. We remove that area of tissue and we send it off to pathology. The pathologist takes a very good look at that area to make sure that the margins are all free of melanoma and to make sure there's no residual melanoma um, present. So having undergone the wide excision for your melanoma, you receive the definitive treatment for your melanoma. At Roswell, we work as a team to ensure that every patient has an optimal outcome.